Hi everybody, time to grill with Phil. Alright, barbecue. Now you guys know that's something I love to do. What I've done here is uh, I've got a side of ribs and as you can see the uh, tips and the briskets uh, actually cut off. That's what I call them. I'm not sure. I'm not a meat cutter. But anyway, what it does is it gives you a nice uh, flat cut across here where you can get your ribs apart when they're done. Obviously this is the bottom side of the ribs. Also, uh, you want to make sure you cut this lip. There's, there's going to be a lip back here usually unless your butcher has already cut it off. You want to cut that off and just, you know, get it down close to the bone, you know, so that uh, you don't have this double overlapping of meat because um, it's hard to get done uh, if you do that. Now these, you can cook them on the grill, but what I do, what, what we like to do, is uh, we put them in a storage bag and we'll put them in the freezer and then we'll pull them out and throw them in a crock pot with uh, some sauerkraut some night or actually some morning and then when we come home from work that'll be ready uh, may not be to your liking but you know that's something our family likes so anyway we've seasoned these with salt accent some meat tenderizer garlic powder, not garlic salt, and then we ground some pepper on them. We did that on each side, and uh, now what we'll do is we'll wrap them up, we'll put them in aluminum foil, and let the juices kind of intermingle and let it marinate itself. Overnight's the best, but you can do it uh, earlier in the day like I'm doing. Uh, I should have probably got them, you know, seasoned last night, and, you know, bad meat. But uh, anyway, I'm going to put these in the freezer, and uh, we're going to wrap these up, and we'll get back with you guys here in a couple hours, and we'll show you how we barbecue them.